good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and what is a very exciting day we're off to florida today so we're in manchester terminal two departures as you can see we're about to check in it's just dean and i on this trip little couple's trip to florida if you're new around here my name's kat and this is my partner dean and we do travel vlogs a few home vlogs things like that but mostly it's just travel and we absolutely love the Disney parks. We've been to California, Paris, and Florida. It's our third one. Yeah. yeah. Fourth. No, it's our third trip to a Disney resort oh, yeah. in the last 12 months. So we've done Paris and Florida twice. Very lucky. So, yes. And it's an extra exciting day today because we're flying with Aer Lingus, but we gave ourselves a cheeky little upgrade to business class. They were really cheap really cheap deal to upgrade to business so we can thank dean for that because he kept his eye on that price and i will chat more to you about how much it cost us but very excited to go and get in the non-existent queue to check in for business class like it, this feels very bougie doesn't it dean we are not we are not we're, we're not business out. class people <laughs> so this is going to feel extra extra special today well, here we are. This is where the cheeky little upgrade already starts to pay off because there's a queue for economy and business is empty. So <laughs> let's get checked in. Well, the queue for economy has definitely picked up some, hasn't it, Dean? This is now peak checking in time for our flight, so. Glad we don't have to be waiting in there. Oh, Air France. <laughs> They're definitely not our favourite airline. The smell of duty free. <laughs> it's like one of the first smells that you associate with holiday, isn't it? And the next little perk of flying business class is we've got complimentary access to the 1903 lounge, so that's where we're headed. is a little bit scary is this bar is just help yourself so you get your own glass pour your own wine pour your own spirits so if you like a drink it could get dangerous well i went for a bit of a hot breakfast to start so a hash brown sausage scrambled egg and beans and dean has gone for the yogurt granola and pastries route and a beer to knock it back with <laughs> well one of us has got to make use of the included alcohol You're driving anyway, you're I'm driving the plane I'm driving the plane so I definitely can't have a drink no I might have a box fizz once I've got some food in my stomach I might have a box fizz okay so I have made use of the inclusive alcohol i might be a bit tiddly when i'm driving the plane sorry dean there's a bit of turbulence <laughs> it's because of this glass of prosecco you can't say no can you but uh we've done the escape lounge before haven't we in was it in t1 or t3 
I want to say it was T3. The yeah. escape lounge. We paid £20 a head, didn't we, to go in it. And it was lovely. And I would say I maybe preferred the setup, like the seats and the tables and stuff. But the alcohol wasn't just like help yourself to the spirits no, like that. There was like beers, I think, included and yeah. ciders and stuff. But you couldn't have just gone and poured your own Aperol spritz or JD and Coke. No. You gotta have some self-restraint in this one. <laughs> my dad right. my dad would not do well. Or your dad wouldn't get on the plane. No, dad wouldn't get on the plane you if you put him in this room. In this lounge even. He would he'd be getting thrown off, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Dean. Happy holidays. Holidays. Holiday starts now. Can't see our plane though. Does that mean we've got a long walk? We can't cross the runway. But I was just definitely about to drop all that to check. It's already here. It must be around that way maybe. Whilst we're enjoying the first class lounge, I will, uh, the 1903 lounge, I think. Can you pay for entry into this? Can you pay for entry into this lounge? Oh, then yeah, it's a business class lounge. Um, I'll explain to you a little bit about how we ended up in here, because we don't normally fly business or first or anything. Usually at best it's premium economy if we're with Virgin. But even recently, we've just been doing economy with Virgin and when we flew to California, we just did economy. So the only reason that we are here doing business class is because it was such a good deal. So we booked our normal economy tickets, which were about 420 pound return with Aer Lingus this, for these dates, which was already half what we paid for the economy flights when we came with the family in May. So we were already paying half that for the return tickets. Those return flights were about 9.50 each. So, we were about half. And then when Dean sort of downloaded the app and put the booking into the app and stuff, it was coming up with an upgrade to business class on the outgoing flight for 200 pound each. How can you say no? Especially when, when he looked for the return flight, they were quoting two grand each. So Dean was like, okay, so it's normally worth two grand. So 200 pound is a real bargain. And given that sometimes an upgrade to premium economy with Virgin costs 150 pound each on a good day, 200 pound to go business class with a, a, bed, a seat that lies flat, just seemed like too good of a deal to pass up. So we booked the outgoing flight as business class, absolutely made up with that. We weren't going to pay two grand to do it on the way home. And then a few weeks ago, Dean went back on the app and they had reduced the price for the return flight home to again, £200 each for return. And we just thought, you know what, we're not going to, we'll just, we won't do Christmas presents this year and this will be our Christmas present to each other. So it means that we get bed on the way home and given that I'm sort of going straight back into work once we get back. Don't want to think about that right now on the way out, but given that I literally land on the Sunday, straight back in work on the Monday, I need to try and get some sleep on that plane. So, yeah, when it's such a good deal, reduce from two grand to 200 pound. We just said, treat yourself, <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> Dean's very good at finding the bargains like that. But yeah, I can't believe it. So all in, we've paid 820 pound to go return business class, which is still cheaper than when we did return economy in May. May is an expensive time to come, especially the weeks that we ended up coming. It was expensive. So yeah, return business cheaper for them than return economy. How can you say no? You only live once. You can always earn more money. <laughs> um, I can definitely see the perks of it. I've always been sort of like, oh, you can save that money and spend it whilst you're away. And I, I do still agree with that, 
but the experience this morning has just been so lovely like no queue at check-in fast track security included um straight into here self-service and every, like unlimited alcohol help yourself and lovely view nice and chilled it's been spot on and worth it so far I had like a little uh, jar of sweeties, Dean. So I got you some love to drink or to eat already. <laughs> I got you some love hearts. Thank you. I'll I mean, I should have looked through and seen what they all say because might say like be mine or something a bit, a bit cheesy. Too cute. Be my Mickey. Be my Mickey. <laughs> Go on, see what see what cheesy ones are in there. It doesn't say that. Does that does my packet say be my mini? Just a smiley face. Just a smiley face. That's not very you, is it? You never smile? It's another smiley face. Is it all just smiley faces? Oh, do they not even say anything anymore? I can't crunch love hearts. They hurt my teeth if I crunch them. I have to suck them. Be kind. Be kind. Well, that that's a good one. Another smile. Please. Always be kind, and that make people smile. There you go. That's the message. That's us. 11 a.m. to Orlando. We'll go to gate two. Actually. excited to get called first aboard. <laughs> Are you excited to go left when you get on the plane? <laughs> and business class passengers, please come forward for boarding through gate 202. Please have your passports open on the That is all? And your boarding cards ready for us. I'm so excited. I'm going to go on board business class. Thank you. St. Patrick is called, Dean. St. Patrick. Show me your excited dance. Show me your excited dance. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> this is your first ever, ever time doing anything like this. I was lucky enough to fly upper class with Virgin as a teenager. Have you brought your, your uh, glass of champers? I don't like champers. You can't say no though. You can't say no. So give people a little tour of your um, your sweet. <laughs> A massage function. Well, massages, obviously. Go on, turn it on. Can you feel it? <laughs> You've got a little storage cupboard. I will give. You can ask for some orange juice to go with your champagne if you want, you know. Um, I will give more of a tour when everyone's sort of seated and we're in the air and. There isn't music blaring away in the background. 
I'm already being spoiled. The air uh, hostess has gone to get me some strawberry syrup to make me a, a strawberry mimosa. So I'm going to put orange juice in the champagne and a bit of strawberry syrup. <laughs> so the lady has brought me over my strawberry mimosa. There's my regular mimosa. Then she's also brought me a Wi-Fi card because the Wi-Fi is complimentary in business. So that's good. And then in here, I think it's like a little amenities kit. So I'll have a little look through that in a minute. I'm going to try this strawberry mimosa. to get to Florida feeling hydrated and fresh not hungover from the business lounge and the business flight <laughs> that's very good though okay so in our immunities kit we've got a sleep and eye mask a pair of socks to keep your feet warm a pair of earplugs to block out the noise hand cream, always handy, a lip balm, again always handy especially when you're flying, a tiny little toothpaste, white glow, whitening toothpaste with built-in mouthwash, Ooh. that'll feel nice coming towards the end of the flight, and a toothbrush, very good, everything you could possibly want to arrive feeling fresh. Provided you drink, don't drink too many of those. Probably will come in a bit handier that amenities kit on the flight home when it's an overnight, an overnight flight. The menu, in, in for my taste, um, it doesn't look amazing. Um, let's have a little look. We've got. Um, Salmon, mm. I do quite like salmon, but I'm not sure. It's like a salmon and dill and pumpkin couscous. Grapefruit, Tahiti yogurt drizzle. Uh, that is, is for a start of this. And then the cream of roast parsnip and seasonal green apple soup, which sounds amazing. Except for it's topped with a blue cheese crumb definitely not a fan of blue cheese uh, then you've got roast king oyster mushroom so a caramelized balsamic tomato uh, we've got pan seared cod and then we've got guinness braised beef which is probably what i'll go for that does sound good we are actually a little bit delayed. We were supposed to take off at 11 a.m. It's 11 11. Oh, big wish. 11 11. <laughs> um, so we're 11 minutes behind. There's an issue with one of the doors, I think. So they're waiting for an engineer to come on because the cabin doesn't want to touch it and make things worse. Uh, so, yes. Hopefully, we can get this sorted. Dean's been looking all week at the like this flight every day this week and sort of tracking what time it arrives and stuff he was getting all excited because he was like yesterday's flight arrived at 10 to 3 we could be checked in and everything by 5 <laughs> but it looks like it's not going to happen the captain's already said that we've got a long flight time of 8 hours 40 which is quite long for Florida really not that I'm complaining because it gives me longer to enjoy this uh, and yeah now we've got this this delay as well so but if there's a day to get delayed it's today so yeah but hopefully we'll be on our way soon in the meantime i'll have a good flick through the in-flight entertainment so never got to go and see this at the cinema definitely on the list to watch i mean it would kill a good three hours of the eight hours oh didn't mean to do that this touch screen is very responsive. Uh, cocaine bear. Sounds interesting. Elvis, I've heard very good things about that one. Um, 
Duncan. Magic Mike's last dance. <laughs> there's, I mean, there's loads to choose from, isn't there? Let's be honest. Interestingly, the whole first season of The Last of Us is on here, and there's a Halloween Horror Nights house based around it. We have plans to go to Halloween Horror Nights this trip, and I've not seen it. So, this could be very good to at least give me some kind of idea of the gist of what's going on. Um, yeah, this could be good. And you do get nice and comfy over ear headphones. So hopefully the sound will be much better because it, or the, the Aer Lingus economy headphones are awful. You can't hear anything really. So hopefully the sound will be improved. Captain's just been on and said that looking at another half an hour, 45 minutes for the engineer to have a good look at the door. And even then, who knows what he's going to say about the door. So, fingers crossed. Nothing we can do about it. We've just got to make ourselves comfy. Great news, everyone. The door is fixed. So, we're going to start our taxi and take off shortly. It's 11.43, so 43 minutes delayed so far. Hopefully we'll keep it to under an hour and then we've got an 8 hour 40 flight. So just want to get on the way now really. And right on cue we've started taxiing. Excellent news. I've had a wonderful nap and now I'm being served my dinner complete with tablecloth. <laughs> this is the um, roast pasta and apple soup without the blue cheese crumb. So they managed to do that for me. I've got some warm bread, I've got a little salad, I've also got a tiny little salt and pepper shaker and a little mini balsamic vinaigrette and a glass of water and some butter for my bread and it smells incredible. Well, that soup was absolutely beautiful um, and the warm bread was amazing. I cannot fault that. Cannot fault it. I would honestly order that again if I was in a restaurant. That was parsnip and apple it was. It was really good. And for mains, we've got the Guinness braised beef with the mash and onions and carrots and stuff. That smells amazing also. So let's give it a go. Oh, and I've got a glass of bread to go with it. Again, that uh, braised beef in the Guinness was delicious. Some of the best plain food I can ever remember having. So, yeah, feeling very full. My chocolate mousse dessert is on the way. Really good food, really good. I, did, I was asleep when they started bringing food round. And Dean was like, can you take your ordering quick? And I'm glad I did. <clears throat> And look at this for dessert. It's like a chocolate dome with salt caramel drizzle, proper brew in a proper mug, milk, sugar, and one of the best programs on the telly. Friends, can't go wrong really, can you? <laughs> Thank you. 
So I just thought I'd show you the bed when it's in its sort of lay flat configuration. If you just if you just press the buttons over here for the steep position and the bed, the chair even just goes completely flat, turns into a bed, you get a duvet and a nice pillow. But I might sit in it like this and watch more friends. So I promise I'm not just doing this because I'm travelling business class. I did this back in May when we travelled economy, brought on a little sheet mask and it was really refreshing, it helped keep my skin hydrated whilst under the aircon and everything in the air, my skin really dries out so I've done the same again. Put it on, leave it on for 15 minutes. Jobs are good in. And this is a moisture bomb, hydrating and replumping. <laughs> Might look a bit weird, but it's very refreshing. It's going to help keep my skin hydrated, and it feels like a little treat, you know, like a Netflix and chill day. I would do this at home if I was having a chilled duvet day so you know <laughs> and the fact that it's a sheet just makes it really easy really easy so yeah I recommend it it's refreshing can't do any harm and who cares what you look like on an airplane you're never going to see these people again anyway so okay I'm going to give you a full sort of tour of the little the little the suite, the seat, I don't know what they really call it on Aer Lingus, but the business class sort of seat that you get. I've got mine set out in the lay flat formation so you can see your feet tuck right under there and you can lay completely flat like a bed and I've been sort of sitting up against this and sort of having all that for my legs to stretch out and I've been the comfiest like that. You've got a little storage bin in here where I've got my bags and toiletries and things like that. You've got a reading light, I assume that will come in handy for a night flight. You get a complimentary bottle of water and there's a little water bottle holder right there. Uh, there is a USB port for you to charge your devices. This is where your headphones plug in and the headphones provided to use the in-flight entertainment are proper over the head earmuffs. So they're much better than the ones they provide you in economy. Much, much better. You get a nice fluffy, comfy pillow like a, a thin duvet, it's thicker than a blanket but it's not overbearing. Uh, there's more storage down here. I've just got my iPad in there. There is a coat hook. I've tucked my headphones in here because nobody's sitting in the seat in front of me. And then I think there's more storage down in here. You get a bigger television screen. And then I also think there's a bit of a storage bin down there as well. So there's lots of storage. I've just got my shoes here. And then you've got this side table. When you're eating, this table just pulls out to provide you with somewhere to eat. Obviously your chair would be sat up so you get a proper table. And then that just folds back away so it goes out of the way. It might be easier for me to show you on this side. So these have more storage down under here. Your feet can tuck right under there. And you also have all of these options for the chair. So you can press for sleep, press for recline, upright. And there's even a massage function on the chairs. Are you comfy? <laughs> you were asleep before and I took your picture but you weren't why don't you just lay flat? I've got my bed lay flat but I'm sort of leaning against this. You've still got it on massage. You've been having like a six hour massage. <laughs> they did also provide us with Wi-Fi. It's not great but it 
it connects ish and it was free with business class so uh yes So the air hostesses have left this sort of complimentary snacks sort of on the empty seat area. So crisps, cookies, I think I'm going to have these <laughs> with my cup of tea. Uh, some corn snacks. There were dairy milk on, dairy milk bars on here earlier. There's Kit Kat Chunkies on there. It's very nice. It's nice having this side table area as well and you can see that the formation I don't want to show you too much because obviously other people but it's one two some of them have got two on this side some of them have got one two one but on this side it's all just one single file Dean and I you said you couldn't get seats together well <laughs> we we debated moving didn't we so we could sit next to each other but thought we're going to spend enough time together over the next two weeks so <laughs> huh yeah you probably will be in the spare room by the second night there's only one of us that snores and it's not me I'm not sure how much you can hear Dean because I've got the microphone plugged in facing towards me just whilst there because the background noise on planes makes the sound a bit terrible to be fair so yeah it's one two some of them have got one some of them have got two and they sort of reverse it so Dean's feet goes under my side table my feet go under the person in front side table so that's why it's like reversed so Dean's got his side table on the side. You've got like more, I don't know, you've got a bit more room here than me. But then I suppose someone could brush past and knock you whilst you're asleep. <laughs> Go on, lie your bed flat. Go on. You've not done it yet. Hmm? Just do it. You paid a lot of money for that function. All the, <laughs> all the way. Keep going. Keep going. It's not. Is that the furthest? There you go. How do you? <laughs> Lie on your side. You think you get? You think you'll get a good night's sleep on your way home? They keep on feeding us. This is like my third cup of tea of the flight in a proper mug. We've got a katsu chicken slider and selection of cakes. I'm trying to decipher what these things are. I think the one on the right with the icing on the top is carrot cake. I guess this is maybe a profiterol and obviously some kind of chocolate brownie fudge something I think carrot cake white chocolate profiterole fudge brownie that's my guess let's see I'm gonna go in with the chocolatey one first because chocolate's usually my least favorite chocolate fudge brownie. It's very dense and quite rich. So let's find out what this one is. It's got to be a white chocolate fudge roll. Mm. Okay, we're all unwrapped. Is a current cake. Maybe. 
maybe could be a bit more moist <laughs> sorry I know everyone hates that word but it could but it's still lovely Be able to go back to flying economy. Not that I'm bored. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had our first ride at Tower Terror coming to land there, looking through the clouds. Oh, imagine how bumpy that would have felt <laughs> towards the back of the plane. Boys and girls, you will very shortly be invited to disembark the aircraft using the second door on the left. Well, finally through uh, security and baggage claim. Baggage claim took 40 minutes. Kept stopping, no bags coming off. They said it got stuck or something. So <laughs> 40 minutes delayed at Manchester and then 40 minutes delayed at MCO. But yeah, we entered the baggage hall and it was completely empty, didn't we? And then by the time our bags came off, there was a bit of a queue. So that was fun. But now it's time for car hire. Go and pick our car. <laughs> we have hired through Alamo, the same company that we did back in May. So this is like the hall that your security is just through there and you empty out into this. It's got like a coffee shop. It's got a couple more baggage claims I assume from maybe domestic flights, possibly. Um, but it's very bright, very airy. It's nice. So we've just used these Alamo. We've already done our Alamo rental, haven't we? Paid for it and everything, filled out all the information. So we've come straight to this, which has saved us from waiting in this. Uh, don't know how long that queue's taken. It does seem like it's moving, to be fair, but yeah, it saved us from waiting in that. Dean's printed off our rental agreement. So now we just go and get, it just says mid-sized car, doesn't it? So that's where we're headed. Okay, made it into the Alamo garage. We hired a mid-size. 
she said that she was going to give us an upgrade to a full size so she showed us this collection of full sizes and we've got Toyota Camrys which is what we had back in May um, and the fuel consumption on it was I think we used a quarter of a tank in eight days was it we don't need anything bigger there's only two of us so it's a nice white one with beige seats that aren't going to absorb the heat when they're parked in those theme park car parks all day but I am just going to do a video of all the any scratches and stuff that are on it to prove that they were there before I touched the car because there is some damage to the rear bumper so as you can see here this is already here we've not touched the car yet so that was already here is there anything else there's some marks and scuffs on here Else. Oh, there's this one. This scuff here. That's not us. It's just evidence to back myself up. Obviously, the date and time that this video was taken will. Can't quite get round to the front. There's a little mark here, right under the Toyota sign. That's not us. There's a scuff here. I think there's a damage waiver anyway. So if, even if Dean and I do damage the car. There's nothing for us to pay. So there's definitely some marks on it, but I've recorded what were there, what was there before we picked the car up, so we should be golden. But it's a definite recommendation for anyone who is hiring a car from any company anywhere. Just film the condition it's in and then if you drop it off, it has happened to us in Croatia to be fair. We dropped a car off that we'd hired and he claimed there was scratches on it that we'd definitely not done um, and he let us off he said maybe someone has parked next to you and opened opened the door onto your car or whatever he let us off with them scratches yeah. didn't he in Croatia but he was for he did point them out and was like where's they come from sort of thing so yeah just record the condition of the car My big one will go side by side with that. Yeah, right, ready? You get top, I'll get side. And these, what was that? Keys. <laughs> Didn't see them. And they'll just slot on there. Job's a good one. Huh? No, nah, you can put it on top of there. And they're all in one place. Do you want to? Do you not want to? I'll drive to the thing and then you can drive to the thing. Okay. So yeah, the thing that tipped it between that car there and this car here is the base seats. Uh, I mean, maybe not great if you're going to eat and drink in it possibly spill stuff all over them but they're not gonna absorb the heat as much the white reflects the heat days though it's been dead hazy hasn't it hazy muggy we've had rain full of sand from the sahara so it's nice to i mean it's muggy here but Okay, well, flash forward about two hours, do you think? Did we get here about half five? Yeah, about. About two hours. We've arrived at our accommodation. We've had a few minutes to 
unwind. We've had a shower, we've got changed, and we're gonna head to Disney Springs for a little bit. Uh, we get a magic band included with the tickets that we bought from Attraction Tickets Direct, or is it just Attraction, attraction tickets? tickets? It's just Attraction Tickets now. Um, they include a magic band that you collect from Planet Hollywood. Uh, and last time when we were here in May, we didn't end up collecting the magic band until the last night, which was a little bit pointless, really. Um, so we're going to go and see. If it's the same colour, then we'll probably just tell them to just keep it. Um, but if it's a different colour, then we may as well have the free magic band. And we're going to get something to eat. We're basically just trying to keep ourselves up, really. Um, we considered going to a park. We had a look at some of the wait times and things, but realistically the thing putting us off is the 30 dollars parking for like three hours at a park max it would have ended up because he didn't get here till half five uh, by the time we got changed and everything even if we just mad dashed it we'd have been out of the house at six hello studios closes at nine was it nine it closes or oh, phantasmic's on at nine anyway so then it closes so I don't want to pay $10 an hour to park at a Disney park. So we're going to do Springs. You don't have to pay to park there. You can still start soaking up some of the Disney magic um, without paying for parking. And it'll keep us out of bed. And Dean might get his beloved Blaze pizza. Yeah. I mean, I love a Blaze pizza too, but you especially, Dean. Yeah. Can't Enjoy Blaze. Blaze. So, yes, that might be the plan, a blaze or see if there's anywhere else we fancy, but blaze is easy, so I think and that will be. And a cupcake. Um, I've had I've had a lot to eat on the plane today. I might hold off on the cupcake for another evening. Uh, but yeah, we'll take you with us. We'll head out to the car. I will do a tour of the townhouse. We're staying on Windsor Hills. Uh, it's a family favourite. I've stayed here for so many years. My dad used to own property on Windsor Hills, he doesn't anymore, but he used to, so that's why I'm familiar with it. It's just in a great location. Um, so we found a little townhouse to rent on, was it the Facebook group for Windsor Hills? No, no, found no it? on Google. Oh, on Google. Um, and Dean will leave all the links below. And yes, it's got three bedrooms. It's too big for two people really, but it was a good deal and it's got a little plunge pool not really a swimming pool but a plunge pool and yeah we're very happy with it so we will do a full tour of it but we're gonna get out of the house stretch our legs a bit so let's get to disney springs we didn't actually get round to filming a tour of our townhouse until the very end of our holiday so fast forward two weeks and we will show you where we were staying Okay, so this is where we're actually staying. We are on the Windsor Hills Resort. Uh, we're staying in a little townhouse, so all these around here are all the same townhouses. There's like a whole little block of them, almost. We're at the very back of the resort, so there's no one overlooks us. You can see that these here, there's like a house right there with their pool and then their pool backs onto another pool. Whereas we don't have that because we're sort of right at the back of the resort. We are number 7666. They painted these lovely turquoise blue colour. I do like that a lot. We're on the end of a row so we only have one neighbour. I can't show this actually because we're not going to be here. It's opened with a code that the owner designated to us. And then it's a three bedroom house that sleeps six people six people there's two double rooms and a room with two singles so you come through the front door as modeled by dean and you have your foyer you've got your um shoe rack keys things like that i do like the fact that they've put these little mirrors in the shape of like a hidden mickey and then down here you've got your first double room which is decorated little princessy um, it's definitely for adults still, I would say. You've got your Cinderella up there, your TV. Looks a little bit old, the TV, but probably still works. We've not used this room at all, to be honest. You've got a view out to your front drive, and you've got a wardrobe in there. Nice four-poster bed. Lots of storage, and a door into what is actually... I'll come in this way, so... 
door opens into the communal bathroom and then you can exit and enter the bathroom also through that door there so that's got a full shower bathroom uh, toilet sink obviously and um, so it's kind of an ensuite kind of just the main bathroom then we've got a huge kitchen full kitchen microwave oven hob toaster coffee machine a waste disposal dishwasher the only thing we've found is we we bought some cereal and stuff there is nowhere to store our own things because the storage is all taken up by like plates and things so we didn't actually have anywhere let's put some pans in there drawers all full i mean we've not bought much food but um when we did so like we couldn't put the cereal away it's all been used for like household storage i suppose what they intend is that you use this cupboard here sort of as your pantry oh there's masking tape in there dean we need masking tape sorry guys <laughs> one of our suitcases has got a hole in it so we can use some of that masking tape um you have got a high chair in here a hoover a crock pot slow cooker that looks like some extra pool chair things like, we haven't had a full route in here to be honest so i suppose they may be intending you to use this pantry but again it's storing old magazines and things so yeah there's not really anywhere to store your food i would say uh, but you have got lots of cleaning and cooking utensils You've got the sideboard here. Now, please bear in mind, we are showing you this as we check out. We're not normal people. We didn't film it as we checked in when it looked all pristine. <laughs> we were too tired and jet lagged, I think. You've got your dining table, seats four, the house sleeps six, but two people can dine up on the breakfast bar. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's not, it's not ideal, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker, if that makes sense. Two people can just sit up here to eat. Um, two couches, I would say they've not been the comfiest. Mm. No, like normally American couches, they like swallow you up into like a cloud of comfort. These, definitely not so. Um, you've got your big coffee table. This has definitely seen better, better days. Um, yeah, there's nail varnish spilt all over it and all kinds, but this is what happens with rental properties. Um, yeah, big TV, surround sound speakers, your Wi-Fi password there. Looks like a DVD. We haven't used any of this stuff, have we? We're just not in the house enough to to use it all. Um, so the pool does have what is required by law, a alarm so that did you hear that? Press the button. Before you open the door, you press the button. It's an alarm so that if a toddler or anything was to open the door and wander out to the pool, it makes everyone in the house aware that someone's opened the door. <laughs> and therefore, if you're parent, you can check that your child is supervised before they go out to the pool. So it is a safety thing. But so yeah, let me just press that there. Then you get you get a good minute, I think, before the alarm starts yes, going off again. 15 seconds. Oh, 15 seconds. Oh, not very long then. It is also good for the environment because it stops people from having their patio doors open and their air con on. Uh, this is another safety feature. You can have this all the way across so that if you have got little ones, they come out the door, they can't go any further than that barrier. Then you have got a little plunge pool here. It's not really a swim pool, it's just a cooling off pool. It's actually been very, very, very toasty. So it's almost like a huge hot tub got seating along the edge there the only downside to this pool deck is there's no shade whatsoever we are south facing so it's early in the morning at the minute so this is currently under shade but once that sun comes up high enough there is no shade out here whatsoever there's no umbrella there's also nowhere to just sit and chill and this also even though we're two adults we can't actually without pulling a brick out of the patio we can't actually put that away to bring two chairs and sit sit out here so the deck area is it's not ideal i would say just especially with not having any shade and i think that's it for inside i mean downstairs that's the storage cupboard i think i've shown you everything really everywhere's got these ceiling fans it is fully air conditioned as well 
but you have got the ceiling fans as an extra. But it's nice and spacious down here. Mm. Definitely nice and spacious. Okay, we'll take you up. I like the fact that this wall is very subtly, well, is it very subtle? I don't know, there's like nice and simple Disney in a, in a slightly lighter paint. I do enjoy that touch. They've replaced the carpet in here with sort of, um, would you say it's laminate? They have plastic, not carpet, is it? Mm. It's definitely not wood. It's seen better days again. The wood has warped a little bit. Um, you can see there's some paintwork needs doing along here. You've got Mickey painting up here. There's Mickey everywhere, really. Then up on the landing, you've got your washer and your dryer. I thought that was a bit of a weird place to have it, but you know what? I've liked having it up here. Um, been easy to well, just... Stop the yeah. shower all that. Yeah, just stick stuff straight in the washer from the bedroom. Another major, quite a big complaint really, there's nowhere to dry your clothes other than the tumble dryer. So we've been using the banister um, to hang our clothes over and they do seem to dry after a day or two. But there's no like airing rack and there's, a, there's sunshine outside pretty much all day. But there's no like washing line or anywhere to just hang a few bits on so we've been using that fence that was across the pool and we've been using the banister and then this is your room that's got your two single beds we have actually had cases and stuff on these beds so that's why they don't look pristine it's kind of done jungle lion king themed there's some bambi there's this mural on the wall with pumba i do like this this is hand painted and then this i think is a decal because it's legs are missing <laughs> uh, but yeah I do like the hand painting on the walls in here and I do like the fan is like uh, leaves big mirror another big storage cupboard in here for your wardrobe I think this is walk-in this one yeah so walk-in wardrobe I think this is some kind of I don't know I've not unpacked it because I've not got a child but there's some baby bits in here I'm not 100% sure what they are some spare bedding up in there and your suitcase rack and then this room does it has a, a full tv storage here and it does also have its own bathroom yeah so full shower a bath if you have got a little one that needs to have a bath um a hair dryer in all of the bathrooms oh so yes this one's sort of a bit more themed probably the most themed out of all of them sort of animals, jungle. I do like the Simba light. He's cute. He's really cute. Oh, you've got Simba and Timon down there as well. Again, I think they're decals because the sticker is, yeah. The stickers would look amazing in, like when they were first done. And then this is your master bedroom. It looks out onto the pool. Huge, I would say that's like a California King bed. Huge bed. I don't think we've like even bumped into each other in no. the night in that bed. Uh, another walk-in wardrobe with a safe that we couldn't fit. Where are our passports for that matter? In back. Um, yeah, we couldn't figure out how to use that safe, could we? No, it, it's the owner's safe, apparently. Oh, okay. He messaged back. Oh, so that's for his use only. Yeah. Um, some spare blankets, an iron, an iron board, and then this is the owner's cupboard. And then obviously there is a huge, this is the biggest bathroom in the property is the uh, the master on suite unfortunately there isn't two sinks i don't really know why they tend to usually do two sinks but we've actually been appreciative of having this space for like my makeup my hair straighteners things like that and then another bath shower the shower head uh, is magnetic which i think is quite cool magnets back on a bath, sorry, there are towels that we've thrown in there because we are about to check out. Uh, a bath if you were to want to have one. It's been a co very comfortable stay. It's definitely nothing fancy schmancy in here. It's just like a base, wasn't it, really? Yeah, it is just a base, to be fair. We stayed in a condo last time we came, and this time we said we wanted a pool, but we've not actually used it. I've been in it twice. Dean's been, yeah. Dean's been in twice. I don't think I've been in it properly. No. Uh, you just don't get the time really you really don't get the time so 
think long and hard about if you actually want to pay for a pool sounds amazing but you know i think the lack of shade out there has made me less inclined to use it as well to be fair yeah i would say the furniture does need a bit of an uplift there's definitely some paintwork needs touching up but it was it was cheap compared to some of the other prices but maybe for two people maybe it's less than learned and we don't we don't need a villa just for the two of us yeah. i think that concludes the full tour We've had a very nice stay. It's been, I've slept like a baby in the bed to be fair. So if anyone is interested, this is the address it is 7666 uh, Kaufman Street in Windsor Hills, Kissimmee. It's from the company, uh, Vacation Central Florida. That's where we're going to Please contact our local property manager. So yeah, we'll leave a link in the description as well, but I'm sure if you Google, things, things will come up. Um, but Vacation Central Florida is who Dean booked it with. So yeah, I would say it's, I would definitely stayed in, in and seen better villas, better townhouses, but it's done its job. It was sort of budget friendly. Yeah. I mean, that it's not cheap, but it's friendlier to our budget than a lot of the other places that were coming up. So we haven't got too many complaints really. Especially if you're just using like as as a base and spending like maybe the odd morning or the odd afternoon in the pool or watching telly or whatever. But yeah, we felt very safe here. And now back to day one of our holiday and our first evening in Disney Springs. That pretty sky over there. Yeah, that's a deal if you drive there because I want to film under the the Walt Disney the Walt Disney World sign. <laughs> I want to make a reel, you know that reel that we're, um, we're back baby, that one, so I might not actually get it in the vlog, the Walt Disney World time, unless I film on two phones. Anyway, the sky is really pretty, we're going to Disney Springs. Disney Springs is absolutely heaving, but it's got a great atmosphere, so not mad about it. But we're not sure how well it'll go trying to get a blaze pizza. We'll have to see. I've not seen that go up for a long time. Do you know how much would I have to pay you to go on it? $100. $100? I still don't think that would get you on it. I'd go on it for 100 Alright, I'll think about it. It would make very good vlog footage to be fair. You on that balloon. Scale of one to ten. <laughs> what did you get on it? I sort of panicked. I don't know if I got what I usually get, but it's so nice. And I got pepperoni and pineapple. That's what I usually get, but blaze just tastes better, doesn't it? Yeah, I got a spicy sauce. Spicy sauce? Is it very spicy? I don't think I've ever seen you devour a pizza that fast. Not even in the Birmingham that time. That's because you were half cut. No, you're not. <laughs> then maybe you shouldn't have driven us from the airport to our accommodation. <laughs> you can't take it back now. I was wondering. You look like you're flagging. I am. Tired. 
I'm ready for bed to be fair. I think it's just like, like do not half hour. Yeah. We need to go to Planet Hollywood with the magic band. And the then all look from Ron John, maybe. Ron John. If we go past it then that's fine. We go past World of Disney as well. Yeah. Yeah. Should we make a move then? Now that you've enjoyed your pizza, that was the only one you get in this holiday, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> We're on our way home, look how tired Dean looks. Called into World of Disney, we're looking at the Halloween ears. I've always wanted a pair of pumpkin ones. These ones, they're, they're all right. They're not for me. That bag's not for me. I don't like the color scheme, I don't think. Um, and the other ones, they're all right, but I don't need the, these ones over here. I don't need any more sequin ears with a colour bow in the middle. I've got loads. I've not got any sort of like this. And I've got loads like that. And unless you're gonna have the bag that goes with it, it just, and I definitely don't need a long slide bag like that. So yes, I'm gonna secure these. Well, I think we are gonna wrap up travel day there. I have got clothes on, I've just got strappy, strappy pyjamas on. Dean is already almost unconscious. It is quarter to four to our bodies and we got up at 5am. Mm -hmm. So we it's are like shattered. We are absolutely shattered, but it's been a really good day, really good travel day. A few delays, but nothing too major. Dean, what would your verdict be on flying business class with Aer Lingus? Uh, I think it's like the most comfortable flight I've ever done. Yeah, it was a really enjoyable flight. Didn't feel like eight hours. I was like, oh God, are we coming into land already? But that said, Dean and I agreed that we were happy to pay £200. Worth it if you can get that kind of deal on it because you got fast track security. You got your drinks and food in the lounge in the airport before you departed. Unlimited drinks, food, snacks and everything. The food was better than when we flew economy in May three course meal like the the air hostesses couldn't do enough for you and the comfort and just you know having your own space and not disturbing anyone being able to stretch out it's worth 200 pounds it's not worth 2000 pound you agreed with me didn't you dean yeah <laughs> oh. i don't know what you said <laughs> Maybe we'll discuss it more in depth when Dean's got a bit more energy. But um, successful evening in Disney Springs. We got a Blaze Pizza. I picked up some Halloween ears that I wanted for a very long time. And I also picked up a Mickey Mouse toy for Jude that was on my list of things that I needed to look for for him. So, yeah. Boxed off his souvenir already within the first few hours. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I hope you're excited for all the content that is to come. Uh, obviously, it's Halloween here now. It's September, very early September, but Halloween is in full force. We do have plans to do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, to do Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, and then all the regular stuff, um, like you know the evening the normal evening fireworks at, at magic kingdom and everything like that and we are also hoping to make it out to bush gardens this time because dean and i are chomping at the bit to ride ianguazi like we were with velocity coaster we also are desperate to ride ianguazi so hopefully we'll make it out there this trip we didn't get a chance to do that in may so yes please do subscribe so you don't miss any of that future content Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video, I guess. Bye guys.